I tell you what, let's dive right in today. You probably saw by the thumbnail that this video is about depression. And there's a couple of reasons that I decided to do this video. Number one, I was inspired by a close friend who will remain anonymous because of the topic, um, said that maybe this would be a decent idea because that person, along with myself and a lot of people that surround me, have been struggling with it, especially this time of year. The second factor was that I think there needs to be more open talk about things like this because the people that generally frequent our lives on social media tend to paint a pretty rosy picture about life. And I am not here by any means to dim that uh, light, but I am here to talk openly about some things that I personally struggle with, but more importantly, to share some things that I try to abide by to get myself out of the funks that I may have. Blues. One of the biggest things that I really struggle with is, uh, well, let me just describe it. Uh, depression to me is like, I'm so bored that I can't um, find something to do. And that's really kind of sounds sad, but uh, it's the truth about depression for me. Like I just kind of mope around and don't really find the motivation to get out and make myself feel more active or do something that I know damn well would make me feel better. Um, and that's when things kind of get heavy for me. But before I talk about how heavy my life is, I also want to put this all into perspective and it might be helpful um, if you're privileged enough to live in what we would call a first world country. Uh, we suffer from what I would call first world problems. Uh, so it's a matter of perspective. Uh, I don't want to marginalize or make people with depression feel bad because they're from a first world country because it's as real as your situation. I am a perfect example of that. Uh, but it's sometimes helpful to think about the fact that I might be moping about the fact that I'm not going out for Mexican tonight and instead I have to have a uh, chicken pot pie from the microwave. That's kind of a first world problem. And once in a while when I'm suffering from some of those more minor and trivial problems, remembering that fact helps a lot. One of the other things that I suffer from is uh, trying to surround myself with people that I care about or that care about me uh, when I'm struggling. I get kind of isolated, antisocial. Um, all the wrong things. And the only advice I can give with this is try to force yourself to get yourself involved with a conversation with somebody who cares about you, face-to-face uh, -face preferably, but whichever way you can find to connect with somebody that you think will make you feel better. Um, every time I figure out a way to stop moping around and just call somebody that I know is going to cheer me up, uh, I'm always happy about it, even if I am turning my back on the idea because it's kind of one of the symptomatic features of depression is isolation. I am here to tell you that for some people, and thanks to you out there, um, I've made some really great close friendships, um, some really great acquaintances and, and connections, and even just the comment section and the things that people say on each and every one of my videos uh, really make me feel good. I'm talking about genuine, uh, therapeutic, and kind words being used. Um, not only to me, but I try to reflect that back to those friends that I do have out there. One of my favorite analogies or things that I uh, is helpful, I'm going to relate directly to backpacking. And there's two phrases that go along with this. One is motivate to get going. And the other is get going to motivate. Now, I can make that uh, as simple as possible by telling you that when I need motivation, uh, I got to get going, but now yeah. some of the packing and logistics have become routine and I, you know, maybe thinking the weather's not ideal. Sometimes I find excuses to not want to go. And sometimes those excuses are kind of rolling through my head until I'm pulling up to the trailhead. Um, in other words, I am not motivated. Uh, but the reason I trudge through all of those routine steps, which are not horrible by any means, but the reason I trudge through all of that is because I know the minute I set foot on trail, I'm gonna be glad that I took the steps to get there. Um, in other words, I need to get going to find my motivation. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have things the other way around, I don't have a good story for you on that because it's not the way I operate. But uh, lately, especially in the winter with the dark skies and the cloudiness, I really have to uh, talk myself out of that forecast being a, a bad factor, talk myself out of the drive sucking, you know, make sure that I just say, just go do it, Tim. And once you get there, you will be happy you did. Because I promise you, 100% of the time, I'm happy I did.
I will promise you that no matter what you do in your life, um, on the regular, experiencing some nature on a regular basis is something that nobody can describe with words, and I'm not going to attempt to. All I'm going to say is simply this. If you spend a little time in nature, you will find it helpful to your soul. Some of the truth about depression or the questions we have to ask ourselves is, are there changes that you need to make in your life? Um, sometimes it's your career, your job, um, your hobbies, um, your ambitions, or maybe it's just as simple as you need to take small steps to um, figure out what makes you happy. But change might be something you need to ask yourself about if you've been in a funk for longer than you would normally expect. But sometimes you have to take the first steps towards making a change. It's just the truth. So let's talk about worrying. Uh, worrying to me, you know, the old saying, worrying is a waste of my time. Not entirely true. It's more complex than that as far as I'm concerned. But I do like to try to worry about only those things that I have any control over. Um, because anything without outside of my control is... Uh, it's a waste of energy for me to worry about it if I can do nothing about it. Um, so on the daily, uh, it ties real nicely into my motivational uh, needs. For example, if I have small things that I need to worry about, adulting, you know, laundry, getting an oil change in my car, you name it. There's a lot of different things that sometimes just eat at you and contribute to your depression. Like, oh, my car is 2,000 miles over its oil change, or I need to get this small repair done in my home. Um, if you, and you know you can afford it, but you've been putting it off because why? Um, so every day I try to choose one or two different things along those lines. Today I'm going to get a haircut and take out the garbage. Um, because if I accomplish those two things, it takes two worries off of my plate that I can control. So I hope that made sense, but it's as simple as that sometimes. Just start with the small things and start taking care of those worries and then work your way up uh, the funnel of things that you have some control over, um, then that's why you would worry about them because you're going to dedicate some time and energy to fixing that worry, right? Whew. Well, that was a pretty long ramble. My apologies. But I hope that if you are anywhere on the spectrum of depression, whether it be severe or less severe, that you maybe got a thing or two to think about from this video. Um, and know that I love you. I love you for watching this. I love you for being a part of this community. Um, and I love you for being a human being. We all have worth. It's important to think about that. It's important to be yourself too. Um, happiness is something that we should all continue to pursue, even on our darkest days, uh, because there's a lot of life to live out there. And there's a lot of things to see. And depression can take a hold of you if you aren't careful with your self-esteem. And that's the core of why I say what I say at the end of every video. Um, I'm still discovering who I am, and I hope that I continue to grow. I don't think any of us will ever pinnacle as the exact human being we wish to be. But uh, I always want to try to be myself. And I think that when I am, I'm at my happiest. So maybe that's part of what I'm going to do is just I'm going to return to being myself. Look forward to daylight savings time. Um, look forward to spring, summer, fall three seasons of awesomeness, and uh, more importantly, more time to spend with friends like you in this community. So before we cut this off, um, hope this helped a little bit, and I hope that you're all doing well. Be yourself. Be happy. We'll see you soon.